Hi, you probably remember me from other tapes. I'm Ben. I want to talk to you a little bit about leech therapy. I know it sounds kind of yucky and kind of scary and everything, but there might be a situation where the common leech can really make a big difference in your life. I know it is for mine. I used to do marathon inline skating until one time when I had some deep vein thrombosis. That's the bad clots, acute clots that ran from here all the way down to my ankle. The doctor said there's nothing you can do. Thrombolytics are too dangerous. All the other systems don't work that they have. So you really can't do anything. They're permanent. I'm active. I could not stand hearing that. Now, you may not be active like me, but if you are, you know, that's just an impossible edict for you to live with. So, I ordered some leeches. My wife said, why don't you try leeches? The leeches came in and I had some great results. I found a 50% improvement after my first treatment with 10 leeches. Now I'm going to show you how to use leeches. By the way, leeches are not just for thrombosis or blood clots. They're for arthritis. I had two knee replacements uh, over a year ago. The arthritis that resulted totally gone after my leech treatment. I have experience with those, so I can relate what I achieved. By the way, I am not a medical doctor. I am not offering medical advice. I am not qualified to give you medical advice. If I say words like, you should, take that to mean, I did. Now, let me get right to the nitty gritty of how one uses leeches. First, you go to the internet, you find a website that you like, order leeches from you want to order the medicinal leech called Harudu Medicinalysis. Your leeches will come in, they'll probably be in a little thermos like this. You'll get the uh, thermos and your leeches will be crawling around. Be careful when you open them. These leeches are real tiny, but they're eager to uh, go after a meal. And they're kind of tricky to work with at first. But they're funny little guys. First thing I would do is put them in a bowl fish. A, a, glass bowl, <laughs> fish bowl, and these leeches you may or may not be able to see because of the light are hungry and ready to eat. Okay, what do you need to do leech therapy? First thing, you want to make sure you've got some sort of cover that uh, will protect your bed. Over that, put another protective cover. Uh, these are available usually at the grocery store for uh, infants and so forth as a plastic sheet. In a minute, I'm going to lay down there and we'll put a leech on me. You're going to need some towels. Now, I'm set up here better than most operating rooms because I carry things they haven't even come and adjusted to yet. For example, I'm going to use paper towels instead of gauze bandages. You'll never find that in a, an operating room. And look, we have duct tape. How many operating rooms carry duct tape? None. But I want to save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Okay, you notice I've got a lot of band-aids of different kinds. Just rob your medicine cabinet, get all the band-aids together. I've got some next care. These are great. I'll show you how to use these later on. A pair of scissors. I would have some uh, sharp instrument uh, in case you need to pry a leech apart. You don't ever want to remove them by pulling on them. Leeches will actually, once they've had their dinner, uh, they'll actually just kind of go to sleep and roll off and they're happy campers and you're a happy camper and everything so uh, it's no problem but sometimes if something should come up and you need to get one off don't try to pu pull on him or tug uh, you, you can damage the leech. Uh, I think uh, the only other thing I want to recommend is you have some sort of little fish net to uh, capture your leech from. I've already captured a leech and I would have several different kinds of containers uh, to put the fat leech when they fall off. You need to put them in a container with a lid, okay? Now, I use these little plastic containers to hold my leech. Here we go with the first leech. By the way, let me just uh, tell you that leeches are, are really fun. Once you get over the yuck concept, you'll really get to like these guys. They're playful. They're, you can sit and waste hours watching them. Okay, I've got my leech here. Notice he's in this little plastic uh, container lid off of something. 
Now, I'm going to place him on my ankle because I think ankles are a good location. I don't need sunglasses. Ankles uh, usually have a very accessible vein. Ankles are not going to be, uh, the, the bite wounds won't be visible. And everything uh, will just go real smoothly. I like to wear gloves. Now, remember, I haven't done this but a couple times, so don't be afraid. You know, when you get your leech, you're afraid to touch it and everything. That'll go away. Okay, here we go. I have a leech. You see the leech? He's crawling around. He's a happy camper. He wants to do some swimming around. Now, I've got, uh, you can see, varicose veins on this leg. I'm going to go ahead and put this funny guy, oh yeah, he wants to stand up. I'm going to put him right there. The plastic container keeps him in the general location so he doesn't run off and uh, try to go elsewhere. He'll find a spot and pretty soon he'll put his little suckers into the flesh and it'll be just like a little pin prick. You'll read a lot of misinformation uh, uh, in the internet and on Google because one person keeps copying the other uh, mistakes of the next person, but I can tell you what I know is a fact. Uh, everybody on the internet says, well, you won't feel a leech bite. Yeah, you will, but it's it's just a tiny little prick. Uh, can be a little burning, but uh, nothing to worry about, but you will feel it. A lot of misinformation uh, says that they inject an anesthesia into your system, and that's just not true. Uh, but anyway, this guy is still searching around for a little place to uh, feed on. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is to get this uh, guy situated so he can have some dinner. Now what he's going to do is he's going to actually have a saliva excretion that will go into my venous blood. And that saliva carries a lot of wonderful enzymes that will get into my venous circulation and very soon it'll be through my entire blood circulation. The idea is that it will hit appropriate places where it will mediate things such as arthritis and it'll break up fibrin blood clots. Now that is really what's incredible because other medicines are not very safe for breaking up fibrin blood clots. These guys actually have an enzyme that will break the isopeptide bond in a fibrin blood clot for you, but of course you already knew that. But I'm just telling you these things uh, can really do a lot of wonderful things. So let's see if this guy is latched on. Okay, now if they've latched on, they won't be moving around. He has, you notice he's kind of swelling up on one end and it's really hard to know which is the front end and which is the back. Uh, it's, the, they both have suckers, there's a sucker on each end. But the front end, and I believe this is the front end, the front end is usually the smaller. Uh, the front end is going to draw the blood out and his body will kind of pulsate and so forth. He's just, uh, he's a happy camper now, but he's going to be putting uh, enzymes and so forth in that will help uh, dissolve some of these uh, uh, dark uh, thrombosis uh, and stasis blood. He's going to do a lot of wonderful things. Uh, this is just the, uh, my foot here is just the situation of uh, too much impact. Runners may get this condition, athletes, uh, just people developing old age. But anyway, this is not for everybody. This is for someone like me who just really can't tolerate being an invalid for the rest of their lives. You want to make things better. Now, there, is there a risk? There's always a risk with everything. And the risk might be, you could be the rare person that's anaphylactic and may have a you know, fatal reaction. I don't know, you could walk across the street and get killed by a car. Uh, you might, if you've got uh, an immune system that's compromised, I would think twice because these things uh, undoubtedly have bacteria in their gut or somewhere. Uh, everybody, everything does. We don't want to contaminate anybody with a bacteria if you have a compromised immune system, but if you're a normal, reasonably healthy person, there's no problem. 
uh, hospitals will uh, fill you full of antibiotics first and so forth and charge you a, an arm and a leg. Um, I don't do that, don't see the need for it as long as I feel healthy. Uh, these little guys have their own built-in antibiotic, uh, so I, I don't see any need to do anything other than let them do the work they do best. Uh, I think when we allow nature properly uh, positioned to do its job, we can heal just about anything. Okay, I'm going to return in just a moment and uh, we'll see these fat guys roll off. So for now, 